hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope everyone is doing great we thank god for a blessed day like this god will keep keeping us so today guys i'm preparing this um, crunchy coconut chin chin you can see how i just cut these ones now this is one of the designs that we have been to making today so if you've been following me thank you so very much and if you are new here please subscribe to my channel keep liking keep sharing and give the video a thumbs up guys if you want to see how this our crunchy coconut chinchin came out then watch this video to the end so guys for our crunchy coconut chinchin we'll be using flour butter egg milk flavor some water coconut milk sugar then i have some um, coconut here that i'll be grating for it but if you want to use the dried vegetable coconut you can use that but i like using this one because it still has some um, milk after grating then for the flavors i'll be using cinnamon nutmeg um baking powder and some salt i'm combining the cinnamon and baking powder but if you want to use one you can actually use one so what i'm going to do first we are going to measure the flour because i'm going to be working with one kg um, of flour so what i'll do now is to measure the one kg if you have your scale your digital scale you can use it i try to measure when i'm making chinchin on baking so i can have the accurate measurement because most times people ask me ah my chinchin is so strong is this is that i tell them it's because they didn't use the accurate measurement so you can grab one of these scales so you can be having accurate measurement when you want, whenever you want to um, bake or to fry your chinchin so we'll be using one kg of flour to work so i'll start measuring But if you are using cup, like this is the biggest cup in the set, if you are using this cup, when you add the floor in the cup, you have to measure it like this. So if you don't have the scale, um, seven cups makes up one kg. Seven of this cup make up one kg. So don't say you don't have the scale, but you can always get this one. We are not there yet, keep on pouring some. We are still not there. Okay, I passed, so I have to reduce it. I have to keep on adding. Okay. yeah this is one kg <coughs> i won't see the floor so now i'll see like i always say save your floor because of particles or molds anything that you don't want to be in your floor or it is cake or chin chin that you're making So I'll just measure it and add all the dry ingredients first. So in this plate here, I have one tablespoon of baking powder, half this is one um, teaspoon of cinnamon and this is same one teaspoon of um, nutmeg then half teaspoon of salt so i'll pour them into the sieve so everything can sit together mm. 
you can see some of this i don't want them so that's why it's good for you to see when you want to use your floor so just combine everything together you can use your hand or you can use your spatula so now i'll add in the milk flavor this is one pack this is how it's been sold this is one pack of milk flavor this is how it is sold i'm going to be using just one so i'll just combine with combine everything together again so i'll set this aside for the coconut i'll be grating that my coconut dedicated coconut but i just like to grate mine so you get your grater this is the smallest part of the grater you now use to grate you can see the coconut i took out the back i don't want that brownish um, skin today so i took out the back so I just keep grating so guys after grating this is the quantity of uh, grated coconut that i have if you want to add more you can add more so i feel um, it's not up to one cup maybe uh, more than half not more than half cup so now i'll add in sugar into this i'll be using one cup of sugar i have to level it so this is one cup of sugar i'm using for this but if i sweet too if you want to add more you can add so now i'll add in the grated coconut This is my coconut milk. I'm using one cup. This is one cup. So I'll add it in here. This is fresh coconut milk. But if you cannot get, um, get it yourself, you can always use the tinned one. So this is our egg. I'm going to crack the egg in here and mix everything very well so that uh, everything will be well combined in the, in the dough. We have butter here. I already measured this butter. It is 200 grams. Whenever I'm making my chin chin, if I'm using one kg, I always use 200 grams of uh, butter. So I'll combine everything together until it now looks like breadcrumbs. Just use your hands to be doing what I'm doing. Can you use your two hands like this? Faster, easier when you use your two hands. This is what we are looking for. Now I'm going to make a well in the middle and I'll pour in the egg and the coconut milk. If the coconut water, if it, well, coconut milk is not enough, you can now add some water. So you start mixing. Keep on mixing until it forms a dough. You don't have any crumbs again. So this coconut milk will be enough. So I'll be adding some water. You have to add the water gradually so you don't over soften the, the dough. Whereby you now start adding more flour. So just start adding some water.
the water is still not enough, so I'll add some more. So I've cleaned my work surface now, sprinkle some floor, then get the dough so I can knead it very well. You can see how the dough is, it's not that um, very very thick as in thick. This is just what I'm looking for. So I'll try to combine everything together until a fine dough is formed. Don't over knead. And see what I'm doing? I'm just folding it in, folding it in. No longer sticky, so we are getting there. So, guys, this is what we are looking for. The dough is so fine, and I can perceive the uh, aroma of coconut in my kitchen. You can start a business with this, and you can make this. For your friends and family this festive season so now i will put it in the bowl allow it to rest for like three minutes while i clean up this plate for us to start rolling and then frying points we have to roll and you can roll it any shape any size you want so i'll sprinkle some flour on the work surface so it doesn't stick when i'm rolling um, I'll be sharing this dough into two because I want to roll in two different um, shapes. So this is the first one. Now I have to roll. Make sure you pour enough flour here, but not too much so it doesn't soak in the oil. I normally like rolling my chin chin not too fat and not too thin, just in between. If you roll that way, you get a crunchy chin chin. And if you don't have rolling pin, you can use any smooth bottle. Just make sure you clean it very well. You can use it. Can see how thick I rolled mine. Some people want to roll it thicker, but this is just the way I want it. And this is my pizza cutter. If you don't have a pizza cutter, you can use your knife. Some people can even use their hand to cut, depends on how you like cutting yours. But the most important thing is for you to get the measurement correctly. And this pizza cutter has made cutting of chinchin so so easy. Back in the day, we used to use knife and it takes some time. But this one, when you are done rolling, sharp, sharp, you are done. You can see I'm done and it's so fast. After cutting like this, you now come this way and start cutting again. They might stick at this point, but don't worry. When it enters the hot oil, you just uh, disentangle there. So you see the size I'm cutting this one. You can see the size we have here. So just cut according to what you want. So guys, you can see what we have here. 
Now I'll get my tray or you can get a bowl, sprinkle some flour, then just pack them in so that uh, it doesn't get really really stuck together. But I don't bother because when they enter the hot oil, everything will be okay. So I'll just keep it one side, then I'll go on with the next uh, design I want to cut. So guys, I'm done rolling. You can see the thickness of it. So I'll now start cutting. So guys, you can see what I did here. You can see how I cut this one like this. So now, I'll come this way and start cutting. So these are going to be like long, 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 long. My son, when they were, were sick kids, mommy make a, a, a Indomie chinchin for us because it comes in strands like this. And see how easy it is so this is what we have the thing is going to come out like this because so i'm cutting my oil in the fire i'm waiting for it to get hot then we'll start frying so guys you can see the oil is hot i just have to uh, put one strand in the oil so i'll know it's hot and it's hot now for so just pour in the cut um, chin chin easy so you don't splash yourself with the hot oil when you are frying you have to be on a uh, medium high so it doesn't soak the, the heat is too um, low so guys you can see how the chin chin is looking now We'll leave it to keep on frying until it's golden brown and I'll take them out. You guys see the lovelies that we have here. They are brown now and I'll take them out because when it is cooling, it's getting darker. So I'll bring them out now and uh, pour them into my paper towel so that the excess oil will be out. Can you hear that? So crunchy. Can you hear? Coconut crunchy chin chin. Just try it out and let me know what you think in the comment section. So now I'm taking in the other shape. One thing again, when you are fine, don't overheat your pan so that you have a space when you are stirring the chin chin in the oil. So guys, this is what we have here. The aroma in my kitchen is amazing. I'm seeing coconut everywhere. So it's um, golden brown. I don't want to leave it more because it's going to get darker when it cools. So I'll just take them out now and our coconut kitchen is ready. You can even take this with hot cup of tea in the morning for your friends when they come to visit this festive season. And you can also start a business with it. So guys, this is it. Take them out now. So my people, my people, you can see how the face of our crunchy coconut chin, chin is looking. 
so so fine so i'm done with my crunchy chin chin so when you are done with when you are done find your chin chin just get a tray and pour them like this so that it can get cool then if you have an airtight container you can pour them in lock it tight and then keep it in your fridge and you can stay for there for like uh, three months so guys mm, mm. are you hearing what i'm cooking can you get the crunchiness in my mouth it's so so crunchy so guys thank you for watching and i will see you in my next keep liking my videos and always give a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and following me thank you so very much bye bye